Hi there, it's Grace Carter. And where I am, it's almost dark, so I'm going to be quick today. It's day 29 of 30 things that require zero talent. So when you describe yourself, would you describe yourself as open-minded? Or are you willing to admit that maybe on some things, you're not really interested in hearing something new? Today, we're going to talk about the benefits of being open-minded. I know in some circles, that's anathema, but hear me out. So, in order to be open-minded, you have to embrace curiosity. Be willing to ask the questions that maybe other people aren't willing to ask. A person who's open-minded is willing to question assumptions. Rather than accepting assumptions, they question them. They, they question the underlying presumptions of people's conclusions. And by doing so, they open themselves to see things in broader ways, in new ways. And by that, they become innovators. So that's two reasons to be open-minded. Here's a third. People who are open-minded are adaptable in changing environments. When you think about the last five years, there has been change upon change upon change. And the people who have been most successful in these times of massive change are those who are open-minded and adaptable. There are a lot of benefits to being a person who is able to look at a difficult situation and question, how can this be different? How can I be different to manage this situation? Finally, people who are open-minded tend to have a broad array of relationships. They know people of every age group. They're not just in their own generation. They know people who are younger and older than them, and they know them in ways that helps them be better people. People who are open-minded have relationships across a wide demographic, whether it's cultural, racial, national. People who are open-minded are willing to learn things in order to be able to relate to a wider swatch of humanity. And by doing so, they have a lovely, rich tapestry of experience. So I encourage you to think about that original question. Are you, could, is there room for you to be more open-minded? Here's my coaching question today. When was the last time you embraced a new idea or a new perspective that challenged your existing beliefs? How can you practice being open-minded to unlock new opportunities in your life? If you're watching the sun, the sun is setting on me, so I'm going to rush home. Thank you so much for listening. Please uh, comment. I'd love to hear your, your experience with open-mindedness. And uh, like, share, and I'll be back tomorrow with the 30th trait. That requires zero talent. Talk to you later. Bye.